Hey everyone, it's Chris from Smithy Fitness. Welcome back, good to see you. So I'm doing a plate carry today. So farmer's carries are more than just about carrying the kettlebells or the dumbbells. It's really about carrying anything. I mean, it could be a piece of furniture, an old tire, a rock, uh, a plate. Now, when I was doing the 90 day challenge that I did about two years ago, once every seven, eight or nine days, I did a plate carry. And I ended up doing the 25 kilo plate. This is 20. Um, and I would go to a track and I would walk around the track, complete a lap, which took about four and a half minutes as I recall. <clears throat> and then I would rest about four and a half minutes and I'd go again. So it was about an hour 20 workout. And they were the hardest workouts. I mean, carrying the bells is way easier. Um, this is awkward. And I would use three positions. So I'd start here and kind of go till I couldn't go anymore, which is where I'm about, <laughs> where I'm at right about now. And I would bring it up to here. So this is not a comfortable position at all. This is harder. Great for the biceps though. And uh, I would carry this. Generally, I would count steps. So I might do, I don't know, 80 steps before I switch. Let's say probably 500 steps to get around the track but of course as you go along you can't do as much Ugh. and this is the most comfortable position but only comfortable for 30 seconds or so until that starts to attack so I highly recommend a plate carry or something an awkward carry let's call it to complement your, your uh, kettlebell or dumbbell carries and hit different muscles in different ways. You know, my abs are just screaming. I gotta be tight the whole time. And uh, that's what it takes, baby. Okay, I'll see you at the finish line. I'm gonna do a full lap. some uneven, some uncomfortable carries to your routine. Your body will thank you, and I thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one.